Hi, I'm Mimi. Today I want to share with you a prayer format called ACTSX, which stands for Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, and Supplication. The first part, Adoration. Adoration is praising God for who He is and for His eternal character. And when we praise God, we are taking our eyes off ourselves and our circumstances and we be focusing our gaze on God and resolving God. And when we focus on Him, then He is able to change our perspective on our circumstances and even change the way we pray. So praise brings calmness, peace, and also increase our faith. Praise and adoration does more than honor God but it is also to our own benefits. Praise invites God into our circumstances and shifts the battle to God and crippling Satan's plan. Some simple way to start our praise is, I praise you, God, because, I love you, Lord, because, Jesus, you are. The second part is confession. Confession is expressing our sorrow for the hurt we have caused others and God. Psalm 66, 18 says, If I have cherished sin in my heart, my Lord would not have listened. So confession brings forgiveness, healing, and also deliverance. And confession would also give you more confidence when you approach the throne of grace. And also, confession will keep the line of communication open with the Holy Spirit. Some simple way to start a confession will be, forgive me, Lord, when? Forgive me for? Lord, I regret that. I am sorry for? The third part is thanksgiving. While adoration is praising God for who He is, this third part, thanksgiving, is thanking God for what He has done for you and for those you, you care about. Practicing thanksgiving will make you more sensitive to all the way God has been taking care of you. And it will grow your faith because you know He will continue to take care of you in the future. We can thank God for anything big or small, from everyday miracles to God's intervention in those impossible situations. For example, you can thank God for the warm sun in a cold winter morning. Or you can thank God for His protection over you when you were traveling on the icy road. Some simple way you can start your thanksgiving is, I thank you God, Lord I'm grateful for. And the last part is supplication. Supplication is just a fancy word for asking and begging for something earnestly and humbly. James 4, 2 and 3 says, You do not have because you do not ask. But when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. So when we ask, check your motives. And also you would defer the outcome to God because He knows what's best. And also when you ask, be specific so you know when He answers us. Some simple way to start your supplication will be, Jesus, may you help me with, Lord, please help, or Lord, please give me, or Lord, please bless me, Lord, I ask for. So that's it. X, A-C-T-S, stands for Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, and Supplication. You can do this in a group or by yourself, or you can pray this over yourself or pray it over other people. So when you are praying this in your small group or with people, you don't need the extra time to share your prayer request, your thanksgiving or answer prayer, because it's all built into the format. So it is more time efficient. And finally, I want to encourage you to pray short, simple, conversational prayer. Conversational prayer is speaking to God as you would speak to a friend. This would better help us understand each other so we can pray in response. And so then we can practice that one accord, one spirit, praying in one spirit prayer. And during these 21 days of prayer, we would encourage you to use this format 
for your personal prayer time.